Okay, so not that shit. To release these damn fish. Now I'm all, I, I drove all the way over here to release these fish. This is some shit me and Trey would have did, but since there is no Trey, I do it by my damn self. Like everything else. Eh, what can you do? You have these expectations. I guess they're unrealistic. Talking about, you know, I, I listen to people talking about generational wealth and uh, legacy building and all this shit, man. It just don't work like that. Like they say, after a few generations, they be the ruined the shit anyway. They be in the squandered all at a uh, certain amount of generations. I guess unless you have a certain, I, I don't know. I think no matter what, what you can't make somebody that ain't, ain't have to work for nothing have fucking work ethic. They have everything that they could imagine at their fingertips. The only way it will work is if you don't do that. That's as far as I can tell. But um, so yeah, and then you got like uh him. He figured it's better off doing it the way he's doing it than putting forth more effort. You don't, you don't want to put forth no effort. So you don't want to put forth effort. You go where it's going to be easier. Damn, something changed over here. Like, well, huh? You go where it's going to be easier. Or where you perceive it's gonna be easy, whatever, you know, all that shit. Yeah, it's something definitely changed up. I don't even know which way to go now. Yeah, so, hey man, what can you do? You know, it's, it's his life. I don't be talking about that too much, but you know, yeah, he's, yeah, he's 17, about to be 18 in January. You know, um, but the birthday on that borderline, so um, well, I don't tell. I mean, shit, that's just as hurtful as my my daughter that killed herself. To tell you the truth, but and you know, I he's definitely a narcissist in the making. If he ain't it, I hope I hope he weed that out of his personality. But to be determined, you know. What once again, that's his life. No matter what I want for him. No matter how fair I perceive myself as being, as understanding, whatever, whatever, uh, it's his life, man. There's nothing else I can do about it. Uh, let me put this thing down. guy with that fishing with shit he don't have no bucket he might just be fishing with lures this is the catch and see catch and release only anyway but i don't see him with anything um well shit if he got it i, I guess he got what he need i would off, offer this to him but fuck it i'm just gonna pour him in there and go on about my damn business yeah i go cussing huh whatever yeah, so there's plenty there's plenty of these shits in here, minerals and shits in this bitch. So adios. Kinda of feel a little sad. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Bye. Good luck. The turtle gonna get y'all ass though. I've said they don't know what to do. Damn, like fuck, they been in that little glass thing. <laughs> <You're> going... <laughs> yeah, we've uh when we find 
we found turtles on the street, you know, at the storm or different things. I guess where the water rise enough where they find a way out of their natural habitat, you know. So, you know, we we put them right over here. Um which is probably where they came from. They they or they'll be able to get to somewhere else eventually. This is this is the park. That that's a little isolated pine, but you know, they they can get their ass over to the other side if they really want to. <clears throat> Hey, in the park, by the fish and stuff, it's better than um, not. As far as uh, your turtle, shit. Better than being on that street. Man, it was on the street. And um, if I, I think the kids was kicking it or something. One of them had a split shell. It was more than one, more than one time, you know. One of them had like a split in the shell, like think the kid was fooling with him. But you know, what can you, what can you do? Yeah, so. Well, that's done. I ain't got to worry about their ass no more. Just feed one set of fish. Cause they is, uh, you know, you know, it was for the turtles. It was, it was, there was turtle food for when I went on vacation or, you know, out of town or whatever. But, man, I'm trying to get rid of all this shit should be at a faster pace I'm, I'm i'm well it takes a lot of concentration to do certain things that i'm doing it really does it, you would think on the outside well you know it ain't easy on the outside but i know i don't know what i i thought i guess you you think you know what talking about uh uh, wanting to do deal with social media in the way that I'm dealing with it, wanting to deal with YouTube and, and build up a, a YouTube audience, uh, a, a fan base, whatever you call it. Uh, nah, I know, I know it takes years, you know, it takes a lot of effort and consistency and all that. So, mm, I guess you still somehow. Mm, think it's gonna be easy. You think every, you know, we think everything gonna be. We think it's gonna be hard, but I guess actually we wish it'd be easy. Well, let me rephrase that. That's why a lot of people don't do things because they think it's gonna be hard, and they do the easiest thing possible or take the easiest route possible. This is why I'm dealing with people that particular people that I'm dealing with and I just gonna have to have understanding for uh, for, uh to tell you the truth that everybody ain't wrapped the same way they, you know um I'm trying I'm thinking with a millionaire mentality and most of these people not you know I'm I'm doing what I have to do to uh Get enough people, get enough reservations. You gotta go low before you got high. Hope you know, and 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 the goal is to get enough five star reviews, and then you can raise your rates uh, more. And and time, but it takes time. But in that, you get you know more pitiful type people, man. It, you know, once again, it is what it is. But you know. You got to be a man or a woman and set your rules the way you want to set them and stick by your shit like a man or a woman and stand your ground, speak up where you need to, right? Where and when you need to. Learn, handle that business, handle that business, handle that business. Dot your I's, cross your T's. And, um, you know, it's going to work out. You do that, it's gonna work out. That's handling business. No matter how it look, you can't see the finish line at the beginning or in the middle or none of that. It's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint, right? So that, that's, that's the realization. That's life. That's life. And some people think that it's just gonna be easy and it ain't easy, they, they out, I'm out. One way or the other, one way or the other. 
commit suicide or be suicidal and and that and that does make a lot of sense um because the thing is nobody cares about men and on the bottom of the list oh at, at the top of the list is black men who happen to have from my understanding from my understanding google this shit that they have the highest rate of uh, rising suicide rate but then so do veterans have a higher you know and i'm sure a lot of black veterans it's a lot of hopelessness with people you think you, you served your country and your country end up not giving a fuck about you and you're black or you're white or whatever you know like it's hard out here and I'm gonna say it again. Everybody just ain't gonna make it. On so many levels, this thing is designed where everybody ain't gonna make it in this game. Some people, uh, you know, they're just not gonna make it. They ain't gonna make it through school. They ain't gonna make it through life. They ain't gonna make it to life, let alone through life. You dig? Everybody ain't gonna. Be the sperm to be the life. Everybody that get to be that ain't gonna get to be the life. Life be against us from the giddy up, man. Depending on who you are. It be, it, it, you know, is it is an abortion a consideration? How many people on birth control and this and that? And you know, like, come on, man. That's all, I'm, I'm just, you know, keep it real. Keep it real. But let me pay attention. You know, if this is on, on TikTok, they gonna say, do not try this at home and shit. Cause somebody gonna be like, hey, is he driving and speaking at the same time? Oh my God, how can he do that? It should be against the law. And if I was in a school zone or some shit, it is. But I'm not, so it ain't. It's hard to believe people can handle more than one thing at one time, especially when you've been doing it for a long. I mean, I ain't got to look at the phone like that, you know? And, or, I know when to look at the phone like that. Every space ain't the same. Got to be a driver, man. That's all I can, I can say. You know, got to be a driver to know. When you know, you know. All right, I'm out. That's a lot. I'm out. Peace.